Hey guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel Kilos and Cosplay. My name is Sydney and today we are going to be doing a kind of just random merch haul. Um, I've accumulated quite a bit in the past few months so I kind of just wanted to show it that way um, anything else I get over out the rest of the month because I want to start doing a monthly like kind of random merch haul. So this way I kind of know what I got to show and what I don't. <laughs> so I figured let's do this huge batch of the things I got in the past few months to kick us off. And there's some pieces that I'm very very excited to talk about. And to start us off, the biggest thing that I'm excited to talk about is this custom table I got from Gum Put her her handle and everything up here because I don't want to say her name wrong. I'll probably be doing that for most of the artists. I might not say their name, I might just throw it up on the screen <laughs> and that way you guys know where to go check out this stuff but I found this girl on TikTok and she makes custom anime tables not only anime she does some other stuff but like she makes custom tables coasters all that kind of stuff and her commissions opened and I knew I knew when that commission opened I had to get this beautiful beautiful piece um, as far as I know, she doesn't do fan art, it has to be official art, um, unless I think maybe she might do it if you get permission from the artist, I'm not 100% sure, but she typically opens her, um, custom, like, orders every, like, the first of every month, so if you are interested, definitely check it out. I think it's worth the cost that you pay, I think I paid $3.95, if I remember right, for it. Like three hundred ninety-five dollars. <laughs> I think that's on a weird three ninety-five, three hundred ninety-five dollars. But personally, I think it was worth it for this beautiful hand-painted, hand-cut piece. And it is, of course, a banana fish table. I will be putting B-roll because I mean I really can't like <laughs> hold it up. So this piece is absolutely stunning and I've always loved this art, like official art that they had of both uh Anji and Ash and I knew I definitely wanted a table with both of them because I don't feel like we have nearly enough banana fish merch like there's some in Japan but here in the U.S. we don't get anything um <laughs> so I'm so excited about this piece this piece turned out gorgeous she did such an amazing job and I do plan on commissioning for a fruits basket table eventually. Um, maybe like a big coffee table so I can put like multiple characters on there. I don't know what I want to do yet and I know it's going to be crazy so it won't be for a, a while but I do plan on commissioning her again. She is fantastic to work with and it is just a super easy process. So definitely if you are interested in getting a beautiful custom table please Go check her out go check out her tiktok she has an instagram go support her she is fantastic and so sweet came with the banana fish theme i also got i don't know i can't remember 100 percent what this is officially called um but i think it's just like kind of map of like i guess kind of like illustrate like visual key book or something like that but it is this beautiful banana fish one of course I adore the cover and colors. I love the blue and yellow, honestly, which I'm surprised because I don't like that typically, but it basically just shows kind of their process through taking them from the manga to the animation versions of them. So you kind of get to see that whole entire process. I wish I could read it. <laughs> they even have like the different rooms that they designed for it. So it's basically, it is a basically just a visual key, but I love it and it's so crazy to see how they chose to design some of the characters and what switches they made especially like if you know um with shorter in the manga he's actually bald but they ended up giving him a mohawk because they didn't want him to quote unquote look like a skinhead <laughs> so it's just insane to see what they've done but this is such a beautiful piece like it's so nice I actually got this uh on Konokaniya I could be butchering how to say their, that store, but that is where I was able to get it. And I got it for about 40 ish dollars, I believe. So it might still be on the site. If you want it, definitely check it out. Don't go to eBay and overpay if you don't have to. After that, I finally uh, got the Banana Fish TV Animation Official Guide Moments. This cover is just so 
gorgeous. I considered kind of doing this with the table, but I didn't know how it would look. Maybe I'll even go back <laughs> and get another banana fish table. Like, you can't have too many, right? <laughs> um, so I might do that, but like, it just has so many like, pretty like, official illustrations in the front that I'll be like showing through b-roll and it just kind of also goes through all the characters and everything I think it's kind of like a character guide but it also kind of just talks about all the moments that happen in it so if you have not watched it or read the manga there is definitely spoilers um, I think it also goes talks to maybe like the voice actors yeah cast interviews so if you can read Japanese you can read the cast interviews but the cover alone is just gorgeous and I don't think this is too expensive if I remember right so definitely worth picking up if you are a big banana fish fan. and uh, then we also have the banana fish the stage kind of book yeah it's just supposed banana fish stage um, I didn't know what I was buying because there is no official like image on Amiyami but I just picked it up anyways um, but basically it just kind of goes over all of the, like, actors, like, all the people that did, like, the stage thing. So it's kind of just has pictures of all of the, uh, stage crew, stage group, stage care, the actors, stage actors, that's the word. Um, it has all of them on there. I think it's interesting because it looks like they actually did make shorter bald in the actual stage play so that is quite crazy but i think there's a pretty good job with casting overall i think it looks really cool i would love to watch this but i don't know if my heart could take it <laughs> so maybe i won't but um yeah i didn't know what this was otherwise i might not have gotten it um, because i'm not like really into like theater or stage play kind of stuff so i don't know if i would have picked it up knowing what it is but i'm not mad to have it it's interesting and then they like to crush you by putting a little thing on the back. Ouch. And finishing this off of all the banana fish stuff, I do have the box set one and two of the Japanese edition. Um, I wish we had an English box set, but since we don't, I just think this is so cool. How they all line up and like all everything throughout it. And then getting to see like the individual covers and then you also get the bonus like um there's like postcards in here and i will be showing that through b-roll as well so they're really not that expensive so i think they're definitely worth picking up you can get them on cg japan so not a huge deal i think i paid like i think they're like 20 bucks at most i could be wrong but i really don't think it was too bad and I hate myself because I accidentally knocked this off my desk and I dinged up a corner. I'm kicking myself. <laughs> but this is such a cool thing, cool concept. I love it when they do this type of stuff with box sets. Um, just really wish we did have an English one, but for now, I'll definitely take these. These are super cool and I'm, I'm very excited to have these. So next I'm going to be showing all of like the different Japanese manga and I think I even, I don't think in this one, but in future ones I will also have like manwas and but the main reason I collect some of the books that I can't read because I can't read Japanese or Korean is they get us some really cool like special edition things for their manga and manwas that we do not get here in the US <laughs> which sucks but I mean I get it <laughs> It, and manga and anime is only just kind of making its major popularity here so we get what we get but they have and like it's crazy how cheap like the manga is though for like different like uh for like Jap japan and stuff so first up we have noragami volume 20 and honestly the cover is gorgeous but you get a special extra like monthly shonen magazine in here or not magazine like an extra comic I was reading the back and I just <laughs> I just lost it there um, but basically you just get like a whole extra story again can't read it but the cover is very cool and it really doesn't cost that much more to buy the special edition as opposed to a regular edition so to me it makes sense to just do that and I love Noragami I need to collect the rest of the manga in English and then up next we have spy family it is eyes only so i don't actually know what this exactly is um i'm assuming it's just i think it's kind of like a character guide type thing as well 
um, but it has like really cool like fold out poster in the front which I love and it has some of the cutest like official art and like the color gallery it's so cute they have the cutest stuff in here but basically I mean it just really does cover like the different characters and stuff like that then it also I think even has like an interview maybe with it looks like the mangaka I could be wrong um no I think so I'm pretty positive they're talking to the mangaka but yeah just kind of all that little like extra stuff kind of like the initial drawings I believe for maybe I'm assuming the anime or maybe even the rough drafts of when he was making the, like when the uh, mangaka was making characters for the manga that's just my rough interpretation <laughs> But this is really cool. I love having these type of little things and I love that it just goes very well with the same color light guide as the normal manga so it'll look really cool when I can put them together. But this is really cute. It just has cute little official stuff in it and this was really not that expensive either. Also got it on CG Japan. Highly recommend them for things like this. It's just so cute. It's just adorable. Up next we have a with the koi but this is the novel edition and i honestly just got it because the cover is super cute it's kind of got this like interesting texture this one also has a fold out poster in it as well and the poster is just so cute but yeah this is just again the novelized version nothing too crazy obviously <laughs> something i also can't read but it's just cute enough to display and that's really all I cared about. I think it was, I honestly think it was just like 900 yen so really not that expensive just for a cute little like addition and this is also one of the series that I very much enjoy and love so it's worth it to me. Up next this is a spoiler for Cherry Magic so if you are reading that and you don't want to be spoiled on anything feel free to skip ahead <laughs> but this is the 10th volume and obviously we got some marriage going on. I don't care that I'm spoiled on this. Like, it, I, I really don't. It's so cute. Like, this official cover is adorable. And it comes with this um, kind of wedding book. Which is so cute. And, like, the back of it. How precious are they? I adore this series. Like, this is, like, if, I feel like if you enjoyed, like, kind of, like, an office romance kind of like what's koi but not because i mean they're not really like an otaku i think one of the characters kind of is but it's not the same in that sense but if you enjoy office romances definitely check this one out it's so cute and very funny um but it basically follows a guy who is a 30 year old virgin and he can when he like touches people he can read their minds and that's how he finds out that like the office like popular guy the most attractive one in the office has a crush on him so kind of getting to navigate how that all forms it's such a good series i think it even has like a like drama like a live action <laughs> drama so if you want to see that but i think it's even on crunchyroll but it has so many cute little pictures in it and then what i also adore about like wedding like volumes is when they give you the wedding invitation that's such a good touch. So I love getting, I think I have now like, I think this is my third fake wedding <laughs> invitation to like these fictional characters' weddings that I love so much. But it's such a great and like perfect detail. So I adore when they do this. It's so cute. But please, read Cherry Magic. It's so good. And up next, we have the Volume 9 a Special Edition of Sasaki Amiano course Japanese edition um, what I love about this is it comes with the OVA on DVD which I believe it's the same OVA that you can see on Crunchyroll right now so you don't have to buy this to see it and then it comes with I just adore the cover of the manga like this is exactly the cover of the like manga I just don't want to pull it out because it's kind of annoying to put back um, they're so cute Oh my gosh, I wish we were caught up in English because seeing some of these like later like volumes that like how far ahead they are in Japanese, 
I've been seeing like sneak peeks of people like just kind of fan translating and posting them on Instagram. Um, it's, it's a spoiler, but like I'm also not mad about it because it's it's so crazy to see how like the author is starting to make the characters genuinely look like they're growing up. And like seeing Miano like starting to like really blossom and become like such like go from like it, it, I feel like you actually see him grow from like a, a young teenager to an older teen adult and I think she's doing such a she he she I don't want I could be wrong on the mangaka I'm just assuming a she which I shouldn't be doing but this is so cute um Sasuke Miyano is one of my like this is honestly probably actually my top uh BL manga series it is just ungodly sweet and wholesome and precious I love them together I cannot wait to see the relationship continue to bloom this is just like so precious and it seems like it's just getting more and more and more precious I'm so excited I just I want all of the, all of it to be caught up in English so badly because I think we're still like only at like the festival scene in the English ones right now so we're not far at all like even just like the practice I don't even know if we've hit the festival yet but it's so cute I will buy all the Sasuke Miyano merch and it also comes with these two very cute um kind of like mini shikishi boards honestly it's not like the same as like normal shikishi it's kind of more just like a cardboard print but it's beautiful nonetheless so i highly recommend picking this up if you can but it might be sold out everywhere and lastly i have the special edition i don't know what volume it is but oh it's volume one of heaven's official blessing uh the, you know in japanese i actually bought this from one of my mutuals on tiktok she was selling it she had an extra copy and this is stunning like the cover was gorgeous i wanted to pick it up anyways but the fact that she had like the very special edition made it all more worth it so in this you get the you know novel and then you get this a very cute chibi like acrylic stand you also get the like acrylic plate you also have this option to put on this very beautiful like kind of dust cover i guess on the manga or the light novel but it's gorgeous like i don't want to take it out of the plastic because i don't want it getting dusty for no reason but like just look at that shine it's beautiful comes in this like little fancy little box you get all those details also comes with the like acrylic stand um so very cute i love this like art of them beautiful beautiful and then it also comes with this kind of like pull out book that just has a bunch of cute like i don't know what style designs i would be because i wouldn't really say chibi but it's so cute they just have so many cute things and i so i really like that yeah it came with a lot of really cool stuff so i'm glad that i bit the bullet <laughs> and i was lucky to be like the first person to message her and be like yes yes i'll take it um so very cute and i'm i think i actually have the second volume in english but i need to pick up the first volume the second one i got when i bought something else like someone was like i'll throw this in for free so i was like well heck yeah that's a great deal <laughs> so i do need to pick up the rest but I really really like uh, Heaven's Official Blessing like that's the only one that I have watched so far out of all of the like MXDX stuff so I can't wait to dive into more like I'm so excited <laughs> like everything is just so cute I figure we'll stay on the same line of the Heaven Official Blessing stuff um so Ami Ami I got this huge <laughs> like I think it's their first anniversary uh, acrylic stand um so it's kind of like that multi-layered style but like this art is gorgeous and honestly the stand is beautiful um i i knew it'd be big but i guess i didn't expect it to be this big <laughs> but it looks so good it's so cool so i'm very glad i ended up picking this up i it really wasn't too bad of a cost honestly for all you get i think 20 bucks probably less 
So, love this. They might still have it in stock on Amiyami, but I do not know for sure. And also continuing on the same line, I have the Shikishi board of the uh, first anniversary kind of drawing. So it comes in this really cool kind of like folder. So I like to keep it in there, keep it all safe. So if you open it, you get it in that very nice, like typical, like thick shikishi board thing. It's really cool. And like the whole like folder just makes it like even more amazing. So I do love that a lot. And moving into kind of some just random merch. Um, I did get this like secondhand fruits basket. Like I believe it's like a, is it a fan book or something like that? Um, but I got it for like less than $2 on CD Japan because sometimes they have some secondhand stuff. And honestly, like it's not bad. It's a little scratched up, but really not that terrible. Um, the pages all look really good. But basically it's kind of that same, like goes over what like all the characters and stuff like that. So for two bucks, 100% worth it. And you get very cute little like art throughout it too like it's just so crazy to see like the old design versus like kind of the new anime design that they have but i love this book it's so cute and definitely where it's just like a sm like paying two bucks for <laughs> honestly i'd pay more i would pay like up to 10 to 12 dollars honestly for this um but it's so cool i can't wait to do some b-roll and show you like the cute like uh official art that they have in here it's very precious. And then we have some spy family, like these little like uh, notebooks, I guess is what they would be. But these are so cute. And I kind of love the concept of this like style that this company goes for. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> so I'm not gonna try to like embarrass myself saying it, but I do really like all the cool like different anime collabs that they have, like this company. These are so cute. Um, the paper, honestly, everything looks really good quality and like these are, aren't that expensive. So I would highly recommend checking these out. Um, just randomly check them on Amiyami. They're just, they're just cute. I love these. I don't know if I'll ever actually draw them because I get like weirdly attached to my notebooks when they're cute. So we'll see if I do, but these are just precious alone for like the front and back covers. Like they're so cool. And staying with the Spy Family theme, I also got this kind of like clear file thing. It's a clear envelope, I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> but I really like it because it does have their like official like kind of, I guess, fighting wear. And then also the casual wear. It's super cute. It's honestly really sturdy and I really wasn't that expensive. And got a lot of space. So that's a cool little thing. And then I also picked up some of these travel stickers because I thought they were so cute. So we have obviously Lloyd and Anya. I'm like torn if I'm gonna take them out of this because I actually really like this kind of like co like cover that they went with or like this like wrapping that they went with. So super cute. Then we have Yor and Anya. So they're just, everything is so cute. I love that like fighting stance that they have. And of course we have Damien and Anya. I love them and I really want to like see a spinoff of them like in high school and growing up and everything and just kind of see how that progresses. Cause I think they'd, they'd have the cutest like enemies to lovers <laughs> type thing. But they're so precious. And it's just, it's, I don't know, I love them together. So I'd love to see if the friendship blossom and then as they get older, maybe more. So just, they're so cute. And moving into anime pins, we do have the, this beautiful Snow White with the red hair pin. It's gorgeous and it's by Adney's Doodles. I buy a lot of her pins. She has such cute concepts. So obviously I'll have a better showing in B-roll because it's kind of hard to see, but the details that they did, like she did with the background choices and everything, like I love this kind of like pearlescent like green swirl. I, she had an original in a pastel version and I wanted the pastel. I just kind of love this like purple green aesthetic and then having her like kind of red hair stick out. And like the side detailing and everything about this is so beautiful. Um, I don't know if there's any more in stock. 
because I did pre-order this, but it's so cute. I love her work. And then another Adney's Doodle one. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. <laughs> We have the Satsuki and Miyano like heart one. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. And the color choices and like the whole background she picked. Perfect. 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 <laughs> I like literally can't stop staring at this one. Like this beautiful like stained glass. It's just kind of like these like pretty pastels. And like the pose that she put them in is just it's so cute. I want all the Sasuke piano pins always and forever. <laughs> How sweet is that? And then moving on from Sundere pins, I believe, um, we have the Hunter Hunter ones. So here we have um, Akula? Akula? Ako? Ako? I'm definitely butchering the sister's name. And Kiloa. And I always loved this scene, like where he carried her down and was like, okay, the payment's a kiss on the cheek. I love their dynamic. He is such a good big brother to her. I love it so much. And it also came with an additional kind of like free, like heart filler pin. So this is so cute. I love that pin. Like I want you to like a re-release. I was like, yes, 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 yes. And then from the Chimera Ants, kind of arc, I believe, is, um, I can never pronounce either of their names either. Um, I know his starts with an M, but like, good God, I don't want to butcher. But I really also enjoyed their dynamic. I think it's crazy how she could like, make him actually care for a human <laughs> and not just like his own kind. Cause he is a ruthless killer until he meets her. So I do really enjoy their dynamic. So I thought this pin was a perfect representation of them. So love that one as well. And then another line, um, I'm not gonna butcher the shop name, so I will just be putting that up as well. But we have this very cute spy family one. So it starts out with Anya and they're all in their um, kind of casual wear, but here she is spilling her ice cream. And then you get um, your, and Lloyd as well. Um, so they're kind of smaller, so it kind of creates that illusion that she is like, you know, running in front of them, tripping with her ice cream. So that's such a cool concept. I love that. I wasn't expecting them to be smaller, but like, it makes sense. It's just so crazy to see like, big Anya <laughs> next to Lloyd <laughs> and everything. But yeah, I mean, if you look at it kind of like from that perspective, it does make sense. And I love it. Like they did such a good job with those pins. And then there is some other pins. I'm just gonna post a picture on here that I took because I don't want to pull them down and they're kind of like small, but it is some What The Koi, like they did these like chibi heads. I'll put the name of the artist or the pin maker up here, but I think this is so cute and I'm loving to see like my whole What The Koi collection grow these like little heads are just so perfect they did a fantastic job i think they even released like ones with animal ears and i thought about getting that too but like didn't have the money at the time so if i go back and she has them i might <laughs> but they are just absolutely so precious and i highly recommend that store if you like kind of like chibi designs because i think she does an amazing job and has kind of like smaller pins so they are more affordable and they don't take up as much space if you're wanting like smaller things. Next I'm gonna show a, kind of just a bunch of acrylics cause like I don't know why I really got into them but I did. I have so many different like acrylics and shikishi boards and things on the way like it's a dangerous game but like I tried not to fall down this rabbit hole because like one space and two like they're not expensive but like it can add up if you want like especially like an entire group of characters but some of these are just so cute. <laughs> so starting us off, we have these very adorable spy family ones. So it's kind of like these like getting ready for bed ones. And they're just so cute. So obviously I had to get all of them. Like I feel like with spy family, you have to have the whole family. And then you have Lloyd. And when you pair them up, it looks so cute. So can't wait to show that in the B-roll as well. And then of course we have Yor. And everybody just 
just looks so precious. I love it so much. So, and I think those are like a really good size too. Like not too big, but like not too tiny. And then kind of on a BL line, I have this very cute chibi like BJ Alex one in like this cafe scene. And they're double sided. So like you can kind of pick and choose like do you want them to kind of have these more like colored eyes or you can kind of have them just in like a plain like dark black eye but this is such a cute little concept it is um made by this is Tian, i believe so i'll put their stuff up here i'll probably also put everything down like in the, the all like the stores and different places i'm referencing down in my description so if you want to check that out but like this is so cute this is like I just I had to have it for not a super wholesome story <laughs> this looks so sweet and then for a more kind of wholesome story <laughs> we do have all of these cherry blossoms after cherry blossoms after winter uh, acrylic stands so here we have them on a picnic it's so cute then there is this adorable like a bath time one like they just look so precious i love these little like chibi ones of them and then we also have them at like a park and just getting like little cotton candy and everything <laughs> they're so cute so i love these they can also you can also hook um like the little metal things and make these like keychains basically but i would never take it away from this adorable diorama so um, you can get those on webtoons like official shop so if you want to pick those up they're really not too expensive shipping was a little rough but i think they're worth it they're so cute up next we have some very cool what the koi acrylics the first one is very special because it is an ax exclusive and i had a now friend from tiktok um she is now like my con shopping buddy uh since she goes to so many and i am forever grateful for that because i can never go to them <laughs> so i am very appreciative that she is willing to buy things that i want and send them to me so shout out to her she is fantastic but she was able to snag me the ax exclusive acrylic how insane is this thing is huge too I adore this so much. She also snagged me the exclusive t-shirt that they have. Um, I have some b-roll of it, but I don't know how good the quality is. So if it didn't turn out, I'll just post a picture up real quick. But I am obsessed with this. I cannot believe she was able to get this. This is such a cool piece and I am insanely grateful to be able to own it. I went on to Animate, web, like their website. And they happened to have some of these stands still in stock, which I was very surprised. So I was able to get this like festival date one. How cute. We have Hanako and I can never pronounce his name. I know it starts with a K. I'm so bad with their names, honestly. But how precious is it? I wish I could have got the other couple as well. But that was out of stock. But I'm hoping to pick that up later, maybe. But how cute is that? I love like the, the kind of 3D effect. It's kind of struggling to stay put, but <laughs> there we go. And they just happen to have these like Halloween ones in stock and I just really wanted, you know, the other couple. So I went ahead and picked up their little ones. So we have a little nun. And then I don't know if he like, I don't exactly know what he is, <laughs> but these are super cute. I typically don't go for like holiday themed ones, but these are just adorable and I couldn't pass them up. I love the little pumpkin with their names on it, so cute. And then they also had some, I actually wanna go back and buy a few more. They had the mystery like kind of blind box. And of course the one that like I didn't want the most I ended up getting, like I don't hate any of them. So that's why I wasn't like, if I don't hate all like any of the characters, I don't mind doing blind boxes, but I feel like her like character design for her like video game character is kind of meh but I did end up getting the kind of like the shy nerdy girl that is with one of the main characters like the younger brother but she's still cute either way I'm not mad about it but like I just 
Of course, that's like the one like you don't <laughs> get to see their face or anything. So I'm hoping to, I really, really wanted um, her in her cute little pink dress, but I'll try again. I'm hoping they're still in stock, but if not, I'll just try to like snag if anybody's just selling them. Cause I think they're so cute. I really do like them. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. Uh, I'm sorry, this is such, I feel like this is such a chaotic video because it's like, I don't really have my groove. <laughs> down for this type of stuff um but we'll get there all due time we will but i hope you guys enjoyed the video <laughs> regardless if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one bye